Hello, and welcome to Food and Friends. I am Joshua Molina. Today I will be attempting to cook cholent as we listen to the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra's gorgeous rendition of Smetana's Dimolda. So I chose to make cholent today, which is a hearty Jewish stew that cooks slowly. I chose it because, well, I like to eat it, so why not make something I want to eat later? But also because it being the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra, it felt like a connection. I wanted to make something with uh, deep Jewish roots, and uh, so cholent it is. In my cholent, which is based on my mom's and my grandma's. I put sauteed onions, garlic, and shallots, two and a half pounds of flanken, which is beef short ribs, a variety of beans that you can buy as cholent mix at any kosher market. You got honey, you got paprika, you got whatever other meat you have in the refrigerator. And sometimes I throw in an entire kishka, which I highly recommend. Today, however, we're innovating. I'm adding eggs, which I'm told is a traditional cholent ingredient that I've never used before. We're adding potatoes, we're adding beef marrow from the bones, and we're adding not a chunk of pastrami, mind you, but actually sliced pastrami like you get at a deli. And guess what? I think it's gonna taste just as good. After consulting my mom for the food aspect of today's endeavor, I turned to my dad for some help on the music and asked him what song or piece of music he felt would pair well with cholent, like a fine wine paired with a subtle, sophisticated meal. And he came up with what I thought was a great suggestion, Smetana's de Moldau, which is a symphonic poem. Smetana, not himself Jewish, my father and I believed at the time of this conversation, that Hatikva, the Israeli national anthem, was based tune-wise on de Moldau. Turns out that is not the case. There is a connection between the two pieces. They're both based on a melody from a much older prayer for dew, Birkat Hatal, Jewish prayer. I was looking for sort of an Ashkenazi melody, but it turns out, I guess, Hatikva and de Moldau are based on a Sephardic melody for that prayer. Doing a little research, it turned out that Mozart, at a young age, wrote a piece of music based on the tune from that Sephardic prayer. Smetana heard that, wrote to Moldau, Hatikva came later. So there's, there's a through line. Well, it looks good. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah. My compliments, well, to myself. Mm. I'm Joshua Molina, that is Chilling, and thank you for watching Food and Friends. I'm gonna finish this now. <laughs>